When you bring a cat into your home, you're kind of making them a promise to keep them safe and to keep them as healthy as you possibly can. And yet we have this challenge here, which is that our homes are not built with cats in mind. So in this video, I wanted to go over seven common household items that can be really quite harmful to your cat. Let me know after you're done watching the video if you caught yourself with any of these things in your house. So the first common household item that can be harmful to cats is lilies and other toxic houseplants. The reason I want to highlight lilies above any other plant is because they are so severely harmful to cats and because it takes so little of them to have an adverse effect. Consumption of a part of the lily plant can lead to acute kidney failure in cats and it takes a small amount to end up being deadly. The scariest part is that your cat doesn't even need to eat the lily to have an adverse reaction. So they can take a bite of the petals or they can also just brush past some pollen, lick it off, and they can end up getting really sick. You're going to want to keep all true lilies out of your house. This includes Easter lilies, tiger lilies, and many other common lilies. Inform yourself on the dangers of lilies and generally keep them out of the house. There are many other houseplants that can be really harmful to your cat, so I would recommend reading our article on safe and harmful houseplants to get a sense for which ones are going to be appropriate for your cat-inclusive home. My next thing that you should keep out of the house to protect your cat is essential oils. So essential oils contain uh, terpenes, which are chemicals that are quickly absorbed into the body through the skin and orally. While they are not harmful to humans, cats lack a liver enzyme needed to metabolize them. And what ends up happening is that it can cause severe damage to the cat's body. They can also experience skin burns if it's applied topically. So you want to avoid exposing your cat to most essential oils. There are a few that seem to be less harmful than others, but the vast majority of them are dangerous for your cat to be around. If you do like having essential oils around the house, using a reed diffuser or another type of passive diffuser can be acceptable. It doesn't put as much into the air, but you're going to want to avoid diffusers that spread little droplets because they'll land on your cat's coat, they'll lick them off, and they could get exposed to some essential oils. Other sources of essential oils to avoid include cleansers and even certain products intended for cats that for whatever reason include these essential oils. Always read the ingredient list and make sure to avoid those that contain these potentially harmful plant oils. On a similar note, you're going to want to avoid household fragrance. So air fresheners, scented candles, all of these things that you can put into your house to make it smell a bit better can be potentially harmful to your cat. Now, sometimes it's more direct where they include some sort of chemical that is toxic to your cat. They're exposed to it in the air, but it can also be a little bit more of a subtle issue where the smell of that freshener or fragrance is kind of throwing off your cat's sense of place. Remember that Cats have extremely sensitive noses and they kind of navigate the world by smell to some degree. And so when you introduce this kind of new overwhelming smell, it may stress your cat. So for the most pleasant household experience, I would avoid these household fragrances. My next harmful household item is pieces of string. Whether you are a knitter and you have yarn lying around or you are giving your cat a piece of string to play with intentionally, this is something to avoid. Often, some of the things that we think of as the most quintessential of cat toys can be harmful. A piece of string can easily go down your cat's esophagus and end up twisting around their intestines, leading to a serious medical emergency. This requires immediate medical care. It can become life-threatening, and it can also be extremely expensive to treat. So avoid letting your cat play with pieces of string and avoid just having pieces of string lying around. A similar issue is leaving bottle caps lying around. So bottle caps are another thing that cats love to play with, but they can get lodged behind your cat's teeth. They can sometimes go down your cat's throat. It can be a really serious issue. So you're going to want to Keep bottle caps securely on those bottles and don't give them to your cat to play with intentionally. For a list of safe cat toys, check out the link that I'll put in the description. Next up is cleansers, especially floor cleaners. 
Remember that your cat spends all of their time barefoot, walking around on the floor, and then every so often they're licking their paws. They're basically eating whatever is on the floor of your house. And so you want to make sure that you don't put anything on your floor or the counters or any other surface that your cat is walking on that you would not want to basically put inside of their bowl. So this leads us to a dilemma with floor cleansers. Fortunately, there are some safe cleaning options. So baking soda, vinegar diluted with water, Dawn dish soap, all of these are safe options. There are also other products that are formulated to be safe for pets, including cats. But you're going to want to avoid a lot of traditional cleansers like bleach, ammonia, certain surfactants can be harmful to cats. I will put a link in the description to a list of cleansers that are harmful to cats. And you're going to want to avoid these and opt for those safer options instead. Lastly, you're going to want to think about what you're using to clean your toilet bowl. So a lot of cats like drinking out of the toilet bowl, and when they do, they're ingesting whatever is in there. Now, a lot of those common blue toilet tablets are reasonably safe for cats. It's not ideal, but it shouldn't cause any significant harm. There's very minimal residue, and some of them don't contain any really harmful chemicals. But many of them contain bleach if consumed in high enough concentrations, this can be quite harmful to your cat. So you're going to want to look at the types of products that you're using to clean your toilet bowl. Ideally opt for ones that are safe for cats, just as you would with your floors and other surfaces in the house. And if you really want to avoid letting your cat get in that toilet bowl, make sure that the lid is lowered when it's not in use. While this is not an exhaustive list of all of the things in your home that can be harmful to your cat, I hope it gave you an idea of some of the things you might not be thinking about. Feel free to share this video with anyone who is new to cat parenthood um, and might need some help. I think we can do a lot to keep cats safe and educate people on the hidden dangers that are lurking all around their home. So thank you so much for watching this video uh, and thank you for being an advocate for cats. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Thanks again.